Hey guys, how are you? So I was just about to get up and get ready because I'm heading out to a friend's place for the night and whatnot. And that's when it hit me, bam, you gotta make a video. So this is what I'm talking about, natural flow of things. And when you get a prompt to do it, go with the flow of doing it. And that's what I'm doing. So um, Eric just wants me to talk to you guys a little bit about how he works. There's a, there's, there is, and not, and not just him with spirit in general, Ding, yes. There is this, seems to be this old paradigm that floats around in the spiritual community where people tend to think that their spirit guides, spirit guides, angels, whoever, tell them that they need to go heal people. That so-and-so is a bird that they need to be tamed or so-and-so could use some Reiki healing or so-and-so could do this. Mm-mm. That's all your ego. Spirit will never look at anyone as sick, broken, weak, a victim. They do not focus with you on other people's shit. They focus on you and your shit. So the moment you've got your spirit guides telling you that they're telling you to go do this, this, and this for somebody, unless you've talked to that person directly and that person is asking for it, that's not spirit telling you to go do that that's your own ego you've just projected your own ego out presenting it as spirit talking to you saying go do this this and this eric does not sit there with other people and focus in on other people's shit that's not your business your business is your business other people's business is theirs that's not your shit your shit's your shit their shit's their shit now do we all technically share, share the same shit and we all could because we all share the same consciousness and we're all one? Yes. At the same time within this, unless you're triggered, if you're triggered by something, bothered by anything, anything like that, that's your shit that you've projected out. Unless you're within neutrality and, and love, it's not truth. And love equals non-judgment. You, if you're in a space of truth, you are not looking at anyone, anyone around you as weak or a victim that they need help, that they need to be healed. You see them as exactly who and what they truly are. They're strong. They know exactly how to get themselves out of the situation and they don't need anyone to do it for them. And they can't have anyone do it for them. They have to do it themselves. They can have help to help themselves, but you can't do it for them. So, I'm just seeing what Eric's saying. He's pointing out that we need to not judge any of this as well, which I recognize. And there is this element there. There is a certain group with a certain person that runs this certain group and they have a tendency every once in a while to go after people that they used to work with and say so-and-so is not doing well, they've got negative energies around them, can everyone send them love, prayer, light? This is just me speaking right now within, within illusion and judgment. That's passive aggressive bullshit and that shit needs to stop. That's my own judgment and ego kicking in. That being said, mm-mm. Anyone who thinks that Eric is sitting there directing people to this, this, and this and in judgment with others, anyone who knows Eric properly knows that Eric doesn't judge. Anyone who works with Eric properly and aren't allowing their own filters, biases, ego, judgment, greed, all of that to kick in knows that Eric doesn't judge. Eric doesn't focus on other people's shit. Eric does not look at you as weak or a victim. None of that. He knows the truth. He knows that you're surrounded by nothing but love. We're not here to focus on other people's shit. That's not what we're here for and that's not what he's here for. We're here to help and heal ourselves. You do as such for yourself and you do it. You do so for yourself. You do as such for the collective. No one's healing me. I'm healing me. I heal me. I heal me. I allow help to help heal me, to help me help heal me. 
but no one is healing me. No one's doing it for me. I do it myself. I'm goddamn fucking powerful and no one needs to do it for me. And the same goes for you. No one's doing it for you. You can pay all the people you want. You can spend all the hundreds or thousands of dollars that you want. Guess what? It's still you doing it. And you do not have to spend that money at all. Mm. Old paradigms melting away. Are we supposed to judge it? No. But do you need to spend hundreds of thousands of dollars? Not hundreds of thousands, hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars, even, even just a few dollars to be able to heal yourself? Absolutely fucking not. Everything that I talk about on my videos, none of y'all have to pay me to do any of this stuff. Like <laughs> everything I talk about is, is that's all you got to do. You guys want to know how to help yourself heal, heal, heal and send yourself, break out of your illusions, all this stuff that you're paying shit tons of money possibly for through other groups and people. I'm giving it to you for free. I'm not saying you have to listen to me. I'm not saying I'm the only one, all those, all those, all those steps, all those other routes. Yeah, sure. They can help. Absolutely. I'm not saying that they can't, but do I, am I saying, do you have to do it that way? And do you need to spend all that money? Do you need to go to an activated master and go travel around? No, you can lay in garbage for 24 seven and do this work on yourself. It's just thought and energy work laying there facing what you're feeling and noticing around you all your thoughts all your feelings any situation scenario that doesn't feel good closing your eyes talking with your spirit team about it inserting in their heart chakras better yet straight sending it straight into source i do both and other than that just be everyone has made it so complicated even with reiki healing all these reiki masters and you go through these courses not like that's not bad i'm not judging it but do you need to do all that you made it so complicated you don't need to do it like that you lay there call in your team and tell them that you're open to pouring reiki source light into whatever area body uh, that you want it to and then you do the thought and energy work on it bam bam wham bam damn bam bam thank you man done <laughs> i know i just messed that up but seriously it's that simple bam 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 done I've been there too, guys. I've paid for stuff and I've had people message me saying that they send, that they've sent their soul to, to, to check me out and heal me and, and that Eric has said that I'm a bird that needs to be tamed and that he, he told them to do Reiki on me and all that. No. Eric said none of that and that is all your ego and your judgment toward me and how you feel I need to be and how you look at me as sick and how I need to be healed. Even this past month with the wave that I went through, I'm not sick. I'm not broken. There's nothing wrong with me. I knew exactly what it is that I'm going through. Even in those spaces where I'm yelling, I hate this and I can't stand it and, and I can't keep doing this anymore and I refuse to take this on. I still have stuff this morning and I still right now, right now I can feel I'm not taking that on as mine. But can I feel what the truth is and will I eventually work on it? Yes. I am not weak and I'm not a victim and I do not need anyone to heal me. I do it myself and so can you. You are literally God and you are literally limitless. And these are old paradigms that are melting away. So I'm just, uh, I'm wanting Eric to just step in and see, um, see what he'd like to say. More specifically coming from him. Oh, I think he's going to trance. I'm, I'm telling her just go babe just go she's fucking funny acting like she doesn't fucking know <laughs> like she was gonna fucking trans me she had an idea she was gonna fucking do this anyway what's up what's up guys 
fucking love you. Love you. What's up? What's up? I love you. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Anyway, I fucking love you guys. Um, yeah, dudes. <laughs> Chantel's funny. She just she gets so passionate about stuff, and that's what's fucking beautiful. You know, she gets embarrassed becoming passionate like that and she thinks it's a bad thing but I fucking love when you guys are able to just let yourself feel what you need to feel and let yourself express and not hold yourself back it's like Chantel says are you here to be shit disturbers and try and hurt people and cause pain and all that shit absolutely fucking not that's not what we're here for are we to judge it no but that's not what we're here to do anymore we're, we're changing that shit right we're here to do love we're doing love guys that being said you know love I am here to focus on the love. Uh, all the love. I don't focus on other people's shit because I don't need to focus on other people's shit because there is no other people. There is no other. It's all you, baby. It's all fucking you. It's all about you. So there is something to be said about when you're hearing that me or anyone else on this side of things is telling you that someone's broken or needs to be fixed or looking at you as sick or weak, that's not exactly true. Are they important steps that have been placed here for a reason? Absolutely. Does this shit help? Absolutely. At the same time, there's shit to be said about it can also help you cling to illusion when you're sitting there telling people that you've got all these negative energies attached to you've got all these blocks up and you've got all these um negative portals and all this shit that's surrounding you and clinging to you what what do you think that's doing to the person looping them in their own shit and looping you in your own shit now is there something to be said about you people having blocks up absolutely at the same time, explaining properly what those blocks are and that they're nothing actually bad. And you don't need to go through leaps and bounds and huge hoops in order to melt those blocks away. It really is doing that thought and energy work, going within and facing, facing what you project out and then going within and facing what within yourself did you project out? Why did you project that shit out? I, I, I don't sit there and focus on other people's shit because there is no other people's shit to focus on and there is no shit to focus on anyway. There is no bad, there is no wrong, there is no attack, pain, chaos, separation. All that shit's illusion. And what I'm here to do is help you remember that. Help you remind you how strong you are, who you are. You're God, you're limitless, and you're love. And so is everyone. So if you're working with me and you're seeing me telling you that so-and-so needs this, this, and this done, dudes... That means you just got to take a step back and breathe and see within yourself what it is within yourself. Are you saying that you need that, that, and that done? Because I'm not here to focus on other people's shit with you. You will know if you're to work that way with somebody because you, the, both of you will interact. And it will be easy to be able to tell that this is what is supposed to happen. It's going to be a natural flow and it's going to be a back and forth. And it's going to be wanted on both ends. Now, that being said, are the interactions between, say, for example, Chantel and the example where she was told that I said that she's a bird that needs to be tamed, was that interaction planned out and that did that all happen for a reason? Were there lessons there? Absolutely. And Chantel recognizes that. At the same time where she's at now, it's taken her a long fucking time in a sense, a long time in linear time to get to that point where she doesn't listen to that shit anymore. But she needed to go through those lessons in order to learn to start trusting herself because she has a hard time trusting herself and to help learn to trust me, help herself learn to trust me. She knows me, she knows my energy and she knows what truth is. And she needed to learn how to trust herself. And these scenarios are kicking her into trusting that. And she recognizes that. So remember, guys, all this shit is always about you. It's always about you. It's never about the other person because there is no other. You heal and ascend yourself and you do as such for the collective because you're literally sharing the same consciousness. 
stop focusing on other people's shit. Focus on your shit. Right? And we're not judging any of it. We're not to judge any of it. It's all happening for good reason. And remember, like we also point out, all that's been played out, none of it happened unless it's truth, which is love. All right? So, all right, you guys. I am going to pop back out of Chantel here. Um, not that I actually separate. I can't separate. We can't be separated, but, you know, back away and allow Chantel to resurface. That's a bit of a better way to to say it there I, I back away and search and Chantel and the energy of Chantel that's more of vocaling playing as Chantel can surface so I'm gonna do that and uh yeah guys I just I fucking love you all and I'm with you I'm helping you and I'm focusing on you we're not here to focus on other people's stuff okay I'm here to help you remember who and what you truly are and that you fucking got this and to remember everything is love everything is love you're not surrounded by bad shit and scary shit. You're fucking powerful. All right. That's what I'm here for. We got this. I love you all very much. And always peace in and out. You guys clicking into that, how important that is. Peace in and out. Love ya. Peace. All right. <clears throat> oh, man. Dude, I'm like, I can feel a yawn coming on. <sighs> okay. Mm, all right. Well, there you go. There's a little, a little video about and with Eric here. Um, I do want to do another video where I update about what went on with me this past month, do more channeling, talk about some cool experiences, um, you know, talk about some other stuff that I know Eric wants to talk about and whatnot. Um, so I'll get there. Um, I just, like I said, I got a very strong prompt. I was like, I was literally, I was literally up, my bathroom light's still on because I was just about to like get in the shower and it hit me, bam, video now. <laughs> so like, all right, let's do this. <laughs> so, all right. Um, there you guys go. Um, remember not, we're not to judge any of it and not, it's not that anything actually is wrong that's being said or that's happening. That That's not the point. It's not that it's just a matter of remembering what the truth actually is illusion and ego and judgment versus what the truth actually is and it's just these are those reminders okay so um i love you all very much i appreciate you all very much more than i can say and uh i hope this helps mm -hmm. please remember everything i put out there is to help it's always to help it's my intention is never to hurt and as always these are always reminders for myself as well i need these reminders i need these reminders I need these reminders. Trust me. <laughs> these videos are always reminders for myself as well. It's never, I'm just, I'm sitting up here on a pedestal and like lecture, lecturing down on all of you guys. I need these reminders and I will be the first to admit it. So, and when I have people will message me, I've got friends that'll give me these reminders every once in a while. And even when I'm not asking for it and I'll always say, thank you. I'll always say thank you because I need them and I'll happily admit it. So, all right. Thanks you guys. Stay tuned for another video coming up in the next couple days with an explanation about January and all that fun stuff. And as always, have a wonderful now. Love you all very much. Bye.